Hey, welcome back to the Garden Pit. I know it's been a while, but hey, life is busy. I'm trying to restructure things around here so I can uh, make more time to do some more videos here and keep you all informed of what's going around, going on around here at the uh, Garden Pit. But uh, this is for the third annual hot pepper seed giveaway. This year it's going to be big and I have a little, ex little exciting news to go along with it. Oh, uh, so hold on. To get your free seeds this year, it's basically going to be the same as last year. Uh, need to be a subscriber of my channel. If not, subscribe. I would surely appreciate it. Uh, everybody be entitled to up to five packets of seed just like last year and pretty much that's it there that's all you have to do I'll give you the instructions on how to get the seeds at the end of the video I also have uh, some exciting news at the end of the video I think you all will like uh, so hold on okay I'm going to give you the rundown of what I'm going to give away uh, I'm going to give you a number and then I'm going to give you the description of the pepper then I'll pop a picture up with the name under the picture there give you an idea of what it looks like uh, first pepper is number one Ahi Rainforest of Bactum it's from Brazil can grow two and a half feet tall the pepper is two inches long by inch and a half wide it's sweet, medium, hot flavor, loaded with peppers. Beautiful plant. Next picture. Next, next pepper. Number two. Ahi yellow, or can go by Amarillo. It's another backum. It's from Peru. The plant can be five to six inches, five to six feet tall. The pepper is four to five inches long by a half inch wide. It's got a sweet, fruity flavor, medium heat. Another plant loaded with peppers. A beautiful plant. The third one is Aleppo. This is an annual. It's from northern Syria, southern Turkey region. Can grow three to four feet tall, three inches long by an inch and a half wide. It's uh, sweet with uh, medium heat. It's made for drying. It's very good flavor. It's a uh, good production. This is a pepper I've been after for about three to four years. It's very, very hard to find. It's starting to make its way in the United States now. Uh, it's a, it's a highly, highly sought-after pepper for you know seasoning foods and stuff. You might want to grab it. Number four. This is one of them names. Barado, no, Barado do Ribeiro, Rib Ero. Uh, I'll put the name up, you'll see it. <clears throat> this is another vacuum it's from Brazil, it's 18 to 24 inches tall. Uh, peppers are uh, three quarter inches long, three or quarter inches wide. It's got a sweet, medium, hot flavor. Another plant loaded with loaded with peppers. There's number five. You all know what this one is. Probably one of the hottest peppers in the world. Here it's a Carolina Reaper. 
also known by HP 22B. This is a chinense. The plant can be three to four inches tall. The pepper is two inches by an inch and a half. It's a super hot, as you would know. Another plant loaded with peppers. Very, very hot. Dangerous pepper. Number six, Calavo Peach. This is a chinense. Plants 15 to 18 inches tall. Uh, the pepper's three inches long by an inch wide, I mean a half inch wide. It's got a sweet, fruity flavor. It's hot. Plants low with peppers. Beautiful plant. All the, all the peppers are like underneath the plant, like a, you, know, you got the canopy of leaves and everything's underneath of it. It's really, really cool looking plant. Number seven is Clavo Red. It's the same as the Clavo Peach, but it's a red version of it. It's a chinense, 15 to 18 inches high. The uh, same uh, size on the pepper, three inches long by a half inch wide. It's a very, very sweet pepper, but it's hot. Another plant loaded. It's, 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 it grows just like the peach with all the peppers underneath the canopy. Really, really cool looking pepper. Number eight, Ethiopian Brown. This is the annual. Grows three feet tall. The pepper's four inches, wi four inches long by one inches wide. It's from Ethiopia. It's a uh, medium hot. It's uh, made for uh, drying. <clears throat> it's uh, good production. Number nine is New Mex Halamundo. It's the annum. It's a uh, a big jalapeno pepper. It's uh, from the USA. It grows three feet tall. The pepper's four inches long by an inch and a half wide. Medium hot. It's good production. Number ten is Mako Coco or Cuco. This is a chinense, it's from Ghana, Africa. It's three foot tall. The pepper's two and a half to three inches long to one and a quarter to two inches wide. A sweet, nutty flavor. It's hot. Uh, very productive. Number 11 is Ahi orange teapot. This is a pepper that somebody uh, cross-breeded with a, a, back, a Bactium and a Chinense apparently because it has kind of a flavor of both. It's uh, two inches, I mean two feet tall. Uh, it's from the USA. They're an inch and a half long and a half inch wide. Sweet, fruity, fruity flavor, very hot, and very productive. Number 12 is Peter Orange. This is an annual from the USA. Two inches, two, two feet tall, three and a half to four inches long by one inch wide. It's a sweet flavor and it's hot. It's good production. Number 13 is Peter Red. 
This is Adam, USA. This is two feet tall, three and a half to four inches long by one inch wide. It's a hot flavor. Kind of has a like a sweet sweet pepper flavor to it, but it's hot. It's very productive. Number 14 is Perment D. Espelette. It's an annual. This is from France. It grows about 20 inches tall. And it's about 5 inches long by 1.5 inches wide. Mild good, mild good flavor. It's used for drying. It's a highly sought after pepper over in uh, Europe there. Uh, it has good production. I offered this one last year. I grew them this year. I got a ton of seed. So order up. Uh, number 15 is Purple Naga Jalokia. This is an annual from India. It's 30 inches tall. The pepper's two and a quarter inches long by about a quarter inch wide. Got a sweet flavor, medium hot, very productive. Number 16 is Purple UFO. This is an annual. Don't know where this one's from. Grows 30 inches tall. They're about an inch and three quarters long by about an inch and a quarter wide. Sweet, fruity flavor. They're mild. Not, not, not real hot pepper. Very, very good production. Very cool looking pepper. Number 17 is Thai Orange. This is an annual from Thailand. It grows about two foot tall. Pepper's about two inches long by two, and a, two inches to two and a half inches long. It grows and about a quarter inch wide. It's a hot pepper and it's mainly for drying. It's a good pepper to dry. If you, pepper plant is loaded. Another plant is loaded. Number 18, Trinidad Scorpion Maruga. It's a chinense from Trinidad and Tobago. Very hot. Probably, probably they say the hottest pepper in the world. Plant grows four feet tall. The pepper's a inch and a half long by about two and a half inches wide. Has a good flavor to it. And it's uh has good production. It's it, like I said, probably one of the hottest peppers in the world. Very dangerous. All right, number 19. Uh, this is one of those ones uh, hard to pronounce. Ooh, uh, Baba, something like that. It's an animal. It's, it's somewhere. It's from somewhere in Africa. I couldn't get find out exactly where. The plant grows four foot tall. The peppers are three and a half inches long by a half inch wide. Sweet hot flavor, very productive. That's it for the hot peppers. Now I have uh, two sweet peppers I'm offering this year. The first sweet pepper is number 20, ancient sweet. It's an annual. Pet plant grows four foot tall. The peppers are eight to ten inches long by two inches wide very sweet very good flavor this 
very good flavor pepper very good production the plant has you know a lot of nice fat peppers on it I was very pleased with this one and the second sweet pepper is number 21 Jimmy Nardello is an annual. This is from Italy. It grows about two foot tall. The peppers are about ten inches long by an inch and a half wide. Very good flavor. Very good roasted pepper. One of the uh, better tasting uh, sweet peppers I, I've tasted. Very good production. And that is it for what I'm offering this year on the third annual Pepper Sea Giveaway. Now for some special announcements. All right. Here's what you're going to have to do to receive your free seeds. I set it up, I'm going to set it up a little different this year. I have an uh, email uh, mailbox set up just for my channel now. You know, if you want to send me any email about any questions or anything like that, you, know, you, you could uh, send it to this uh, email address I'm about to give you. But uh, any request for seeds has to be sent to this email box. I don't want to go through uh, YouTube's uh, private messaging or you know that was a hassle last year so I wanted to do it on this new email uh, account I set up. It's, the email account is gardenpit2014 at gmail.com I'm going to put it around the bottom here I'll repeat it again. Garden Pit 2014 at gmail.com. Send all your requests there. That way it'll be a lot easier. You know, there was a lot of confusion last year because some people didn't know how to uh, send messages out and, you know, all that YouTube crap and everything. So we'll do it that way. It'll be a lot easier on everybody. But you're going to have to be a subscriber to my channel like I said if not please subscribe and you can get in on the uh, free giveaway you're gonna need to send a self-addressed stamp bubble envelope and you don't want to send just a regular envelope because those seeds will get crushed and they get go through the um, post office and when they get to you and they're all crushed and they're no, they're no good, you can't plant them. So send the self-addressed stamp bubble envelope. I'll give you all the uh, details when I receive the email. I'll, I'll uh, reply back with the uh, ma mailing address where you can send the uh, envelope to. And that's you know pretty much basically it. Just uh, in your envelope. I'm going to need you to put your name and your your YouTube handle. Like my YouTube handle is The Garden Pit. So whatever your YouTube handle is, put that on the request. And that's all I need you to put in there. Just make sure you just put a little note in there with your name, your, just your first name, and your YouTube handle. I'll have all the numbers from each from the peppers that you ordered in my email box so you don't have to bother with that you'll you'll get what you need I hope and what I'll do is like last year I'll, as soon as I get your email I'll pre-pack your stuff that way as soon as your envelope gets here I'll throw it in the envelope and put it right back in the mail it'll go out the next day and that's pretty much all you have to do just follow this few simple rules and please if you if you request something so, you know, please send your uh, your envelope here. I had quite a few last year that requested seed, and I packed it all up, and I never received their uh, envelope in the mail. So uh, 
please, please send your envelope. Now, you know, I, I, I really, I really want to get these seeds out to you, and I want you to, you know, grow them and and see uh, how they produce for you. Uh, the, the special announcement I have, excuse me, special announcement I have is I'm going to have a contest. Excuse me, I'm going to have a contest to go along with this uh, seed giveaway. What I'm going to do is. I'm going to have a drawing, and what you uh, and for you to be eligible, you will have to have your envelope to my house by January 17th to be eligible to be in this drawing. What I'm giving away is first place. I'm giving away 20 packages of hot pepper seeds. Second place, I'm going to give away 15 packages of hot pepper seeds. And for third place, I'm giving away 10 packages of hot pepper seeds. What I'm going to do is, by that date, all the envelopes that I've received by then will go, their YouTube name will go into a drawing. On on the eighteenth of January, on eight, the eighteenth of January, I will draw the three winners out of uh, a hat or or a pot or something, you know. And they'll they'll be announced on the eighteenth of January. Uh, the video will probably come out in the e by the evening then. So you know, I'm pretty excited to do that. Uh, hopefully, uh, somebody will be excited to receive that. But uh, yeah, I decided uh, you know I'd do that. I, you know, just to thank all you people for subscribing and and hanging in there with me. You know, it's been been a little busy with my new work schedule. I haven't had a lot of time to do things. You know, uh, video wise. But uh, I promise you, that's, that's going to change. I'm going to uh, start shooting some more videos, trying to keep up with everything. I'm trying to reschedule what I do when I get home so I can have some time to put out some some good videos there. I'm going to try to uh, do a better job at, at the video, with the videos and a little more quality. And, and that's... That's that's my promise to you. And that's pretty much it for the uh, 2015, you might as well say, giveaway. I uh, sure hope you all liked the uh, selection there. I know the video is probably going to take a little while, but when I'm giving away that much, it's going to take a little while. I uh, thank you all for watching. I sure appreciate you all subscribing and hanging in there with me. Take it easy out there. See ya!